Hey, Kumpo is taking this Milwaukee Bucks team back to the NBA Finals. No, I don't even want to talk crap to the Chicago Bulls because they've been marred by injury. But the fact that Chris Middleton is not in this series anymore, and he might not be for the rest of it because they might not need him, and they'll just tell him, hey, just rest your body until round two. I want to hear your thoughts down below. Grayson Allen. Grayson Allen. I did not mention him last video. Grayson Allen. A lot of people don't like Grayson Allen because of his antics he's done in his career, especially in Duke and, you know, what happened in the NBA. There have been some moments. But I like I like people who are physical. I like people who don't mind if they hate me. That's how I play. I play very physical, hustle. That's my style of brand. Maybe I, I'm not as, like, I don't do as the kind of dirty antics as that, but I would say it's more of a Matthew Del Vadova scrappiness that I play with. And I like... Grayson Allen going out there, he knows the three-point shot is his shot. He finds himself comfortable hitting those three-point shots. And he were, he's showing that, at, in a way, this man, I would never say he's a three-level scorer, but he has the ability to shoot all over the floor. And, dude, he's a 3 and D guy, okay? Grayson Allen is a 3 and D man. And I enjoy watching him very much. And the best part was, was he had that jumper. He hit, like, the floater that Giannis Antetokounmpo assisted him. And then he had two, you know... Play, like three plays that he made just like within like three feet of the basket that was fantastic and then he was just hitting three pointers all around the you know going around the world that basically felt like he was playing and i think it's amazing because javon carter out here playing defense and assisting and rebounding because you know george hill is out and then you got pat Connington who last game had a huge game as well so i really like javon carter pat cunnington and grayson allen who you know javon carter comes in for you know drew holiday or West Matthews, depending on who they need, and Grayson Allen comes in for West Matthews or you know the small forward. In this case, they've been playing the small forward position. I don't know if it's Ana Kumpo or Portis who's been playing small forward to start with, but you know Carter and Allen comes in for the shooting guard small forward, and I really like those guys coming in for Holiday, West Matthews in the three position. Which would you say Giannis is playing the three or Portis is playing the three? Because Lopez starts at center, but you know Giannis and Portis have been taking the same amount of three pointers, and they're both kind of playing like the the Lowry Markkinen type small forward role and it's been fantastic and i think it's awesome I, i've been very much enjoying it like what do you guys think okay girlfriend just texted me she want to go get a car wash you know how girls are they can't ever do things by themselves okay and she has to come i'm, I'm making a video babe about the 24 point blowout okay you know what i mean i, I think that's important right now like a goddamn car wash i love her boom great thing either way I want to hear your guys' thoughts. What do you guys think of this? This is a big one. I think there really is. Giannis is just showing how good this team is. And when I was talking about this the other day, they basically have what, the Heat, the Sixers, potentially to face. And I just think it's just rather impressive what we're seeing of this man. And I just, I think it's fun. I think it's fun. And people need to be put on notice because the Milwaukee Bucks are going to, they're going to make you regret, you know, forgetting about them. Because that's what I think a lot of people don't realize what they're doing is that they, they just think Milwaukee Bucks are just doing the same thing that they're always doing. But I don't think they're doing the same thing that they're always doing. I think they're doing, they're playing a different brand. They aren't the same team that they once were. And, you know, they're, they're living in the moment. And I think they're the scariest team in basketball or on the Eastern Conference right now. So people better watch out because Milwaukee Bucks are trying to make some noise. And... They're being led by Giannis Antetokounmpo in that right. So I'm I'm a Giannis Antetokounmpo believer at this point. And I hope for the best for y'all.